In this video, I will teach you how to use Google Gemini to edit photos and create all sorts of amazing photo projects and artwork. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. Here I am in Google Gemini, just a free Gemini account. And of course, you can click here to ask Gemini different questions or to do different things. But notice this little plus sign in the lower left corner of the chat box. I can click on this plus sign to add files. I can either upload them from my computer or I can add files from Google Drive. In this case, I'll upload from my computer and I'm just going to select a photo. This is a photo I have of Molly and I'll just open that up and now I'll ask Gemini to create a charcoal sketch of this photo. I'll submit that and Gemini is now working to recreate this image but as a charcoal sketch. It's done, there it is, and it looks great. I can now click this button to download the full size version of this AI generated charcoal sketch. So I can open it from my downloads folder and there's the result. Now, in addition to downloading this image and of course seeing it here in my chat results, I can also go here and click on this file cabinet to see any files created in this chat that I've just done. So this is nice because you might want to try various prompts and then decide later which ones to click on, open up, and then download to your computer. I'm gonna go back because there are many other options I could try. I could ask Gemini to recreate the photo as a watercolor painting, or I could turn it into pointillism artwork, or something like Picasso would have created. Not too bad, or even a surrealist painting. And just like you would expect, this works not just for images of people, but it also works with images of objects like these pumpkins, as well as nature photos, landscapes, etc. Let's see how it does with this image of Yellowstone. Not too bad. In fact, I think it's improved the image in several ways. Now, Google Gemini can do more than just convert one type of image to another type. You can also do some basic edits. I want to start with a fresh chat, so I'm going to go here to the upper left and click on new chat, and I'm gonna upload that same image of the pumpkins again. And if you remember, there were four pumpkins in the original image, but this time I want Google Gemini to erase the first pumpkin. I will submit that prompt and let's see what happens. There's the original and it didn't do exactly what I was hoping, but it did remove the face off of the first pumpkin. I could try turning the first pumpkin into a basketball. Let's give that a try. And that worked beautifully. I could remove the background of the image. Let's see how that goes. That worked great. And now I can ask Gemini to add a new background in. Maybe something like this, a background of a basketball court. So I have effectively edited this photo from its original while keeping some of the elements intact, but I've replaced some things, I have removed the background and then put in a new background. And we could get as creative or weird or silly as we want with some of these prompts. Let's see how those pumpkins look with some crazy hair on them. Just beautiful. And again, all of these results from the current chat are stored here in this file cabinet. And at any time I can go back and choose the one that I like the best. And then I could right click on it and save that image to my computer. As a teacher, I see all sorts of uses for this technology. It's a great way to create visuals that will help my students learn. As a Spanish teacher, there are infinite uses of this, but I also have lots of ways I could use it in my personal life and in other ways. So I hope you'll try this out and have fun experimenting with Google Gemini's photo capabilities. And I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, thank you so much to my super techie channel supporters. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. Thank you.